Welcome to the Patient Portal for Patients course. The Patient Portal is a module designed for patients like you to be able to view your patient's summary online. The patient summary provides information about your visit, such as lab results and care instructions. Soon after your visit to the hospital or clinic, you'll receive an email inviting you to register on the patient portal. Once you've received this email, select the provided hyperlink to begin the registration process. Please note that the hyperlink will expire after 48 hours. If you want to register after the hyperlink has expired, please contact the facility at which you were seen to have a new email and hyperlink sent to you. Also, keep in mind that once you've registered on the portal, you will not receive another email invitation. The patient profile number will already be populated. You may enter your email address and phone number, but it's not required. Your date of birth must be entered, and you must create a username and password. The username should be unique, but memorable. After completing all of the necessary fields, you must select the I Verify checkbox and then choose Register at the bottom of the screen. Select an avatar of your liking and then select Submit to continue. You will then be prompted to answer three security questions to use in the event that you forget your username and or password. You must answer all three. After all of the security questions have been selected and answered, select Submit at the bottom of the screen. You will then be taken to a screen stating that you have successfully registered on the portal. Select the Please Click Here link to proceed to the Patient Portal dashboard. The next time you log in, this will be the screen you are taken to. After entering your username and password, select the green circle with the check mark to continue. If at any point in the future you would like to change your password or security questions, go to Settings. Then choose Security. To change your password, first enter your old password followed by what your new password will be. Once all fields have been addressed, you will select Update Password. To change your security questions, select the security questions you would like to use followed by the answer to each. Once all fields have been addressed, select Update Security Questions. To return to the Patient Portal dashboard, select the Home icon at the top of the screen. This icon is available from any screen within the Patient Portal. This icon is available from any screen within the patient portal. To view messages that have been sent by your provider or to send messages directly to your provider, select Message Center. Your inbox displays on screen. Messages you have received regarding any of your visits or any messages for visits where you are the authorized representative will all be listed here. Messages in bold lettering are messages that have not been acknowledged yet. To display the entire message, select anywhere within the message box. To reply to the message, place your cursor in the reply field at the bottom of the screen and type your response. Select Send to send the response back to the provider. You will return to your inbox once the message has been sent. In order to initiate a message to a provider, select the pencil icon. 
the visit field will automatically populate with your most recent visit. If this new message is in regards to another visit, you may select the drop-down at the end of this field to choose a different visit. The To field contains a drop-down of Providers. The available providers are those you saw during your visit. If you only saw one provider, the provider's name will be the only one listed. Type a subject and a message and then choose Send. You will return to your inbox once the message has been sent successfully to the provider. To view messages you have sent, choose Sent in the top left corner of the screen. To view your patient summary, select Medical Record. Your name will display on this screen plus the names of those you are authorized to view. Each visit that is attached to the selected name will display the account number, service dates, and visit diagnosis or reason for visit help determine which patient summary needs to be viewed. Select the appropriate visit beneath the name to view the patient summary. The visit's demographic and visit information displays at the top of the screen. Below the various sections of the patient summary display if they were charted during your visit. If you would like to transmit, download, or print your patient summary, select the link at the top of the screen. The entire patient summary displays. From here, there are three options. The first option is to print. Select the printer icon to print a copy of your patient summary. The second option is to download the summary of care to your computer. Select the download icon to begin the process of downloading the patient summary to your computer. The third option allows the patient summary to be sent in an email format. Select the transmit icon to begin this process. When selected, the transmittal agreement displays so that it can be read. Once you've read the agreement, choose Agree. There are two options available for sending the patient summary. The first is by direct message to a provider. To do this, select To My Doctor. A provider's direct message address must then be entered and confirmed. You will need to contact the receiving provider to obtain their direct message address. The other option for sending the patient summary is to a personal email address. To do this, select to personal email. If you are choosing this route to send your patient summary, please keep in mind there is no guarantee it will be transmitted over secure networks. An email address will also need to be entered and confirmed. The subject will automatically populate, but may be changed if needed. A message may also be entered, but is not required. Before the patient's summary is sent, the Understand and I Agree checkboxes need to be read and then selected. Choose Transmit to send the message. The screen will return to your patient's summary once sent. You also have the ability to upload a document to be included in your patient summary if needed. Begin by selecting the Uploads icon next to your name. Documents may be uploaded by selecting File or Text. The File option allows you to browse your PC and pull in any document of your choosing. The Text option allows you to free text information as a document. Once the file has been uploaded or text has been entered, select Upload. Once the document has loaded, the document will display as pending at the bottom of the screen. 
The document will remain at this status until the facility you were seen at approves the document you submitted. If you would like to verify the document you uploaded, you may select the download option. If the wrong document was uploaded, you may select Delete. The Delete icon may only be used as long as the facility has not yet approved the document. Once a document has been deleted, a Restore option will become available that may be used if the document was deleted by accident. This concludes the Patient Portal for Patients course. For additional information, please contact the facility from which you received care. Thank you.